Okay guys, Nichols Retirement Empire. Take another walk here on the Silver Comet Trail. Now under this bypass, there is a fairly heavily used trail. Uh, this is Highway 61. <laughs> it's near a high school that I used to work at. And uh, every kid that decided they were gonna leave campus took off walking or running down Highway 61. A lot of them would take this route. This is a cool place to hang out for the day. If you can avoid the uh, little car that the sheriff's office runs up and down through here. And as one of the administrators in charge of discipline, I think I spent more time in the daggone woods <laughs> sometimes than I did in the school. But the high school that's near this trail, uh, surrounded by, you know, there's woods all the way around the high school. And uh, man, there were so many trails back in those woods. I mean, you go back in there, they'd have like benches and stuff set up. And of course, I can't say I blame them. Who would want to sit inside a high school classroom all day long when you can sit out here in the shade and the, in the trees? But to be honest with you, I don't think most of those kids were really into nature. <laughs> they were skipping class. Uh, they, they weren't very good woodsmen. I'll put it that way. <laughs> we caught a lot of them. And we'd sneak up on them. And they'd always just be amazed that we, like, oh man, where did you come from? <laughs> we drove up on a golf cart right next to you. <laughs> so they weren't very good at hiding a lot of times. And there were a couple of times where we had kids, man, we were running after them, trying to find them and stuff. And next thing we know, we'd see them down or walking down the <laughs> Of the road covered in mud and leaves and all kind of junk on them <laughs> we'd take them back to the school and have to get a water hose out and wash all the stuff off of them where they had uh, fallen into ditches and all kind of stuff so the woods really wasn't the place for most of those kids and most people would say well now you live in georgia don't most of the kids there like hunt and fish and camp out stuff like that man i live in metro atlanta <laughs> these kids don't i mean there's some of them that do but now even when i lived in places outside of metro atlanta and i lived in places where you would think the kids would uh be more outdoorsy uh i was at this one school and they gave me a class to teach and it was called outdoor education and I was like, really? Yeah, this is, they're like, yeah, yeah, you, you get, to. I'm like, well, is there like a curriculum? No, no, you teach anything you want to. And I'm like, man, that's fantastic. You know, I fish all the time, all this kind of stuff. I, got, I mean, there's so many things I could teach these kids. Man, this is going to be great. So, man, I thought I was just going to have, I mean, because I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> the word redneck would... <laughs> would fit a lot of the kids at that school so you would think it would just be fantastic man i got all these kids no nah, i had about maybe seven or eight of them took the class the ones that took it if we went outside mr nichols coach it's hot can we go back inside i'd show them video fishing videos and hunting videos that they don't they want to watch those uh i took them to a state park where we could hike. They didn't like that. Uh, I took them on an outing where we went fishing. We went fishing. I had a bus, I had a bus driver's license. So I drove the bus, put them all on the bus. We get out there. We had like three hours, do what you want to out there, fish, have a good time. And uh, they had fixed us lunch. The people that owned the property had fixed us uh, hot dogs, you know, and stuff. And so, we uh, get out, eat the hot dogs. Man, this is great. Nice pond, look like there's a lot of fish in it. So I get to looking around. Man, half my kids are gone. I'm like, where are, the, where are they? You know, they've had time to eat and all this kind of stuff. So I go around looking for them and I get over there and I look on the bus and they're all sitting on the bus. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? Can't we just sit on the bus? No, you can't sit on the bus. You got to get out and fish. You know, I had to make them. I had to make them get off the bus 
to go fish. My Lord. Then another time, you know, we were gonna, you know, do like a little cookout thing outdoors. And so we, uh, we, we went outside, you know, we had hot dogs and all this kind of stuff. We were gonna cook it out on the fire, campfire, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I had a couple kids. I said, listen, go get us some wood and stuff. We're gonna build this fire right here. And uh, they're like, okay, all right. So they come back and they're pulling <laughs> these big trees out of the woods. And stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, we're bringing wood for them. I'm like, listen, you can't start a fire with a bunch of trees. You gotta have like little, give me, you know, and I showed them what I wanted. Give me some little sticks and some, you know, whatever. So they go get that stuff and get enough of it to start a fire. And then I'm like, oh, you don't have a lot, of, you know, <laughs> Every one of them had a lighter. <laughs> but anyway, somebody pulls out a lighter. I don't know which one. But anyway, um, they had a lighter. And I'm like, okay, well, listen, you know, start, you, you get the fire started. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get these hot dogs out, you know, whatever. Man, I turn around. They didn't have the wood piled up. They had like, they, they had no idea how to start a fire. They didn't know how to start a fire with a lighter. They had no clue how to stack the little twigs up and you know get a fire going with some, and, and then put the bigger stuff they had no earthly idea even how to start a fire i don't know man and this was 20 years ago this wasn't like last week this was 20 years ago when this happened those people are all grown up now i hope they know how to start fires because you know supposed to have a uh, supposed to have a apocalypse coming or something and you're probably gonna need to know how to start fires with sticks and stuff like that so maybe they're maybe they know what they're doing by now I don't know and there's always complaining about everything I'm like well what do y'all want to do I mean tell me what it is you want to do. I, I want you to have a good time in class I mean it's not like I mean this ought to be an easy class we want we want to have fun and every, every time without fail what do you want to do? We want to camp out. <laughs> we want to camp out. I'm sitting here going, guys, y'all can't start a fire. You can't. What do you think camping out is? What, what is it you think that happens? You know, I think what they thought a camp out was, was you drive your truck and, I don't know, drink beer or something and sit in the back of the truck. And I, I don't know. But they couldn't have started a fire. They couldn't. I, bought, I got some tents, brought some tents, and uh, brought it into class. And I, these didn't, I mean, these are the tents that just come together. You know, you, you don't even have to do anything. Give them the tents. We had contests to see who could set the tents up the fastest. They couldn't set tents up. They had no earthly idea how it worked. Uh, just it was just incredible. It was an incredible experience for me to realize that all these kids that lived out in the country didn't know how to do any of this stuff at all any of it you know when we were fishing i thought well cool i'm gonna be able to fish for two or three hours man i couldn't fish it's like having a bunch of two-year-olds all their lines were up in trees they got the reels upside down fishing with it backwards and getting hooked and each other and i mean it was just God, it was a mess. It was a disaster. That class was a disaster. I thought it was going to be the best thing ever happened. I was so excited and thought it was going to be so fun. Nope. 